Welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be upgrading the lights, the headlights in the FC. So Oxbeam has been messaging me for quite some time and I had them send me some LED headlights for the Jeep as well as for the FC and a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna be adding some more lights to my trailer. I wanna actually add lights to the deck so when I'm strapping something down, I can actually turn them on and light will shine up. It won't be like super bright light. They also sent me a few light bars. Everything is now ready on the Jeep. Gonna head over to the alignment shop. I also torqued everything as well as greased all the bushings. I'm sure they already had grease in them, but I wanted to make sure. So let's head over, get this thing aligned, see what the alignment shop has to say. I guess on these, since there's leaf springs in the back, they just have to do the front. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this mother <laughs> Lifted Jeep drifting. <laughs> Low washer, I bet. Never checked it. Just got the Jeep over to the alignment shop and she was a little bit crazy over bumps, but for the most part, there wasn't any big deal with tow or the track bar. So they're gonna go put it on the lift. I'm gonna go get some lunch. I was just getting lunch and I forgot that my shoes are green from painting the Durango. Everybody's looking at them. <laughs> Finished the alignment on the Jeep. They said it was very, very close, but there was some tow that needed to be adjusted. Now we have everything ready to go. Let's drive her and see if she's sketch anymore. All right, so she's not as bad over bumps anymore still. The lifted Jeep, but for the most part, it's way better than it was before, especially just cruising. I mean, she is ready to go four wheeling. Got the LED lights installed in the FC, and I really like the upgrade. I can't wait to adjust them tonight, but I still don't have the turn signal slash high beam switch because it's been really hard to find. So these ones right here are for the high beam and they do look like they're out of adjustment. So I'm gonna go over, install the ones on the Jeep, and then I will come back once it gets a little bit darker and actually adjust these so they're in the correct position. The LED headlights in the FC, and it is so nice. Look at that. The windshield's a little bit dirty, but I mean, this is so much better. I couldn't even see with the sealed beam headlights that were in there before. This is way better and the brights aren't even on yet. So I wanna do these to the Jeep and I adjusted everything so they're, when it's on the low beam, it isn't gonna be blinding a bunch of people. Oh man, this is so much nicer. I can actually see it's like, it's like my F350 now. LED lights, I love them. Being ready to move the VVL as well as the 13B and I can't wait to actually have these over. I'll probably also take a few of this, these transmissions. Actually, I might take all the transmissions and I wanted to take, I don't know if I'll have enough room. I wanna take the Shell fuel station sign and uh, maybe also my Conoco sign. And then I have a Phillips 66 sign over there. I don't think I'll have enough room for all that stuff. Maybe I could put the Phillips in the car or in the truck, but let's get these loaded up and get them ready to put back in the cars. I can't wait. And I also want to, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this exhaust manifold, but I want a Cerakote. That's an old full race or Mazworks exhaust manifold, but in a super ancient ball bearing turbo. I just found this Gatorade bottle that I use to store the valve stem keepers and some other stuff from the Volvo, a spare Volvo head that I have. And what's inside this, the liquid is solvent. Whatever bottles Gatorade used or is still using, this has been in here for like 11 years and the bottle's still good. Got the engine stands loaded up as well as the VVL and the 13B. And then I decided while I was at it, I might as well bring 
the SR20 turbo manifold, the Garrett turbo, as well as some RB26 valve covers, 2J parts, and then a bunch of other stuff up front. I now have the exhaust manifold wastegates in the EFR back on the 13B, and the exhaust manifold in this whole system makes the engine look really, really bad. So Cerakote makes everything look really good, but it doesn't just make it look good, it actually keeps in the heat. They have a bunch of different coatings. I'll put a link in the description, but this is the high temp exhaust coating. And then this is the Glacier series, I believe. I'd have to look back at my video when I coated it, but it keeps it so it doesn't, you know, it rejects heat a lot better. So it's doing pretty much the opposite of what this is doing. This is trying to keep all the heat in and spread hot spots out. And this is trying to dissipate the heat as fast as it can since i'm going to water cool these and run stainless steel hard lines to everything we shouldn't have any issues plus i'm going to run all the cooling for the turbocharger she just looks really really good i'm really happy that i cerakoted it i'm really happy i went to the training and i can't wait to get the 13b back in the car so my intake manifold can't wait to get that back from the machine shop it'll probably be a couple more months and the reason i did that if you guys are new to the channel I went, you know, I had an elite manifold. I had high intake air temps. I didn't like the design of it. I didn't like the whole V mount setup. I wanted stuff to be more compact. I wanted to be able to have AC back in the car. And that's why I designed my own manifold. If you're new to the channel, I design a lot of my, a lot of my own parts because I don't like how things are designed and I want things to work really well together. So once that comes back, I'll have Hayden weld everything up and we'll be able to get this back in the car. I'm also gonna have to wire up the Haltech. So now I have coil on plug instead of the individual coils. And the reason I wanted to do that was because the coils on a 13B and a RX-7 FD are mounted on top of the engine. The bad thing about that is the aftermarket manifold was too low to fit them. This manifold would have been too low to fit them. It's, uh, you know, it's a lot easier to have coil on plugs. There's more control over them in tuning etc so i'm really happy i mean this coating looks so so good so we're looking at this turbo and then we go over here to one that's not coated it's you know it, i would rather have something that's coated plus the aluminum you can see how grimy it gets and this was only on six dyno poles so this manifold this turbo six dyno poles and it's been sitting around and been handled a lot but it gets really grimy and this is coated and it's a, uh, you know, it's resistant to chemicals. So if I touch it and then I want to wash it and pressure wash it, it'll clean right up, look brand new again, which is really nice. So I got the FC with new LED headlights. I'm going to either replace the Jeep or the Supra. It's a very tough decision because the Supra, well, the Supra doesn't run, the Jeep does. I guess we're doing the Jeep. So. I think what I need to do to remove these is I have to pull the grill off so I can access it. I've never done a Jeep before, but kind of what it looks like. So let's get this piece off of here, get the new ones in. These lights right here, they're LED already. They're like some Chinese LED company and they're not good at all. I mean, you can't see anything at night. So these are gonna be a really good upgrade after seeing what they did for the FC. I got the driver's side new LED light in. Compared to the old one, the old one had like this weird conversion thing that was like half glass and I don't know, it wasn't even straight. That's probably why, well, probably one of the issues why, look at the bulb, why it wasn't really lighting anything up when I was trying to drive. I couldn't barely see anything, but let's compare them. So I still have that one in. We have the new one. Let's turn the lights on. But yeah, look at that. So you can hear the fan in that one. And that one is actually pretty straight. But look at the difference. Look how much more light there is. And then that's not even all of the light. So this is the low beam. I think I should be able to use the high beams on this. The FC didn't have high beams because, um, I don't know how you use high beams. Oh, there we go. So now we have high beams right here. Look at that. So they're kind of fluttering. I think it might be because this one's still in here. So let's swap it and then, nope, 
Maybe it's just the Jeep. It's probably just a wiring thing, but yeah, look how much more, oh man, that's great. So I got both of the LED headlights installed into the Jeep and I figured out why this one was flickering after I installed this one. So these lights, the old ones, had these weird ballasts in them and on the driver's side, none of the wires were connected. So that was doing great. I probably didn't have, I was wondering why the lights were so dim when they were on, even, you know, even with both of them on, those lights are not that great. So now we have LED lights that work in the Jeep and you can tell that they're gonna be nice at night. The FC looked really nice at night, but check this out. Oh man, we could, we could see them. And then high beams, ooh, I'm gonna have to adjust them, but I'll have to wait till it gets darker and I have to do some stuff anyway. So it's not gonna be in this video, but it'll probably be, you know, before I go four wheeling, so I'm not blinding people and so I could actually see where I'm going. But I'm really happy that I got these. There'll be a link in the description for these. I also have a link in the description for the light bar, which is pretty awesome as well. So if you're looking for LED retrofit lights, I would, you know, there's, there's a few different styles. This style was something I was more into they had some with turn signals in the lights and and different stuff like that a lot of different jeep people do different things but they work very well in older pop-up jdm cars so i'll probably end up doing the supra i wish there was a little bit different style than just having like a bunch of the uh the things but they don't look bad on the fc especially when the lights are closed because i don't have those little covers the the flash to pass fog light things um it kind of looks cool behind there but uh and then once i do the the covers they'll have the flash to pass and it'll still look cool but i'll probably end up doing the supra i'm gonna end the video here super stoked about having led lights having a new led light bar and all that great stuff check out the link in the description as always if you like these videos make sure to click the subscribe button thumbs up throw a comment below as always see you guys next time